Today's topic is gallbladder polyps. Gallbladder polyps are growths protruding from the lining of the gallbladder. Polyps can be cancerous, but they rarely are. About 95% of gallbladder polyps are benign. The size of a gallbladder polyp can help to predict whether it is cancerous or malignant or non-cancerous or benign. Most polyps, which are usually less than one centimeter, are unlikely to be cancerous and generally don't require treatment. However, when small polyps occur with other conditions, such as primary sclerosing cholangitis, they are less likely to be benign. Larger polyps, about one centimeter in diameter, are more likely to be cancerous or turn into cancer over time. And those larger than 1.8 centimeters in diameter may pose a higher risk of being malignant. Causes The exact cause of the condition is not known, but there is a definite correlation with the presence of gallstones and increasing age. Symptoms Most affected individuals do not have symptoms, because most polyps do not cause noticeable symptoms. In some cases, gallbladder polyps may detach and block the Hartman's pouch, causing biliary pain. The detached polyps may also block the cystic duct and may cause cholecystitis. It may also block the main bile duct and may result in obstructive jaundice or pancreatitis. Diagnosis and Treatment Gallbladder polyps are usually found incidentally, when examining the abdomen by ultrasound for other conditions, usually abdominal pain. A combination of features seen on a CT scan and transabdominal ultrasound can provide the information needed to further manage an individual with gallbladder polyps. Treatment Most polyps are benign and do not require any treatment. For gallbladder polyps larger than one centimeter, surgical removal of the gallbladder or cholecystectomy is recommended, even if no symptoms clearly related to the polyps are present. If gallbladder polyp is accompanied by gallstones, cholecystectomy may also be recommended, irrespective of the size of the polyps. This is due to the high incidence of malignant transformation of polyps associated with these conditions. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.